which is right now if you want to watch that set back of Comics and Dill. But we've got another set to look forward to and another another blast from the past in a lot of ways. Utopian Ray showing off that Rosalina and showing off just how good they can be in this in the meta of New York. There's a lot of characters like Duck Hunt and if Zane is going to tunnel in on their dog, then the Queen of the Cosmos might be more than enough to take care of that. And right now, uh, you are looking pretty good. This is going to be a little bit of a combo for Zane, yeah, just a uh, Nair. Um, Rosa being a big body and a floaty um, does make those combos a little bit easier for Duck Hunt. Yeah, you're going to see right here. Not going to be enough. It, did he not have... Oh, God! <laughs> Drifting into the can, but mi after all that missing the tech, as Ray looked like they were focusing a little bit too hard on trying to just get a little extra pot shot from Luma. Not finding, uh, not able to hit the tech, and that survivability is going down as That's Zane. That's a whole lot of damage there in the corner. Probably could have gotten even more off that jab. Uh, however, Zane fully dominant at the moment, uh, of a full stock and lapping Ray in that percent range thus far. This should be a stock. Oh, missing that back air. Almost getting caught by Luma up there as Utopian Ray once again tunneling on this up smash. It worked so well in some previous sets, and it's one of Rosalina's, if not her best move, period. Yet Zane playing around it so unbelievably well. Another throw. Yeah, and again, Duggan doesn't have kill throws, but absolutely has the ability out of those throws once Duggan is in an advantage state to put you in positions that are so hard to get back down to the ground, so hard to get off the ledge. That is like maybe a sleeper, like the best downer in the game. That, that, that downer is ludicrous, especially like on the Tastaluma. Um, like that, it lingers forever, it spikes forever. That downer is crazy, and, and you could be right using it to full effect there, take that stock. But you gotta keep your eye on Luma as the roll in is just enough to get by Zane, though amazing SDI can lead to a, a, a full combo on Luma, which is arguably more important here as you remove one of Ray's most, if you remove Rosalina's most prominent tool, then you are in full position to take advantage of it as Ray, uh, Zane continues to try and space out with some of these items. Not detonating the Clay Pigeon immediately twice over lets Ray get right by it before it pops. And what, like an interesting thing here is, oh gosh, you're dying. Did not recognize the regrab, I don't think. Um, uh, takes a huge punish for it with the side B into the can hit and neutral uh, it has been restored. Zane just turned a mountain into a or turned a molehill into a mountain. It seems like the inverse of the prophecy. I think what's like maybe the most interesting thing about this matchup is that um, like you think oh Rosa like gravitational pull like completely invalidates this character. That's stuff. Um, but like Duck Hunt puts out too many projectiles for Rosa <laughs> like. Like, like the gravitational pull is gonna take one of them, but like Duck Hunt's gonna have a can ready right afterward, or Clay Pigeon ready right afterward, or Gunman ready right afterward, um, and like it kind of overwhelms like Rose's ability to kind of just invalidate these uh, projectile characters, and does Zane kind of show that there? Uh, really, really excellent job of just taking those stocks um, as soon as possible. I'm so, if, there, if, there, if there was a jump there, Ray absolutely could have gotten back. Duck Hunt down is so weak. Was there a jump? Mm, I, don't, I don't believe that, so. Okay. I'm not quite sure. Um, yeah. We are going to battle for though. Excellent Rose stage always has been since Smash 4. Yeah, um, excellent Ray stage. Yeah. Always, always their premier counter pick. If they can play on this stage, they will. But what, always, what really impressed me with Zane and how they played in that game one is that they were so confident in their grab timings and just putting Ray off the spot, taking up Smash out of shield, like off the table by the fact that Ray wasn't allowed to sit in shield for very long. And that transitions back into if you're going to start spot dodging in order to avoid grabs, then things like rapid jab or the delayed a startup on side B are such optimal punishes. Okay, looking for that landing on the way down. Ray in a pretty good position here. That Nair allowing him to get back down to the floor. Super safe move. Okay, right there. And they, oh, he, a, a further away gravitational pull. That is where gravitational pull is excellent because Zane has really been playing that close quarters game with Ray as much as possible. It's been difficult for um, Yurei to respond. However, right now, Yurei is keeping space so well. Wow, getting saved by that Clay Pigeon. We've got an F-Smash there. Absolutely huge, and it gives Zane another chance to reset here. And without Luma, this is more than just a reset, but Ray doing an amazing job of just covering so much space with that neutral air, the last hit of it. 
ending up uh, saving their bacon more often than not. Very, very clean play. J full hopping above the platform, but then fast falling through it as Zane tried to challenge, and the up smash was ready and waiting for them. And that up smash just covers so much space in front, and even a little bit behind Rosa as well. Um, makes it really difficult to land on this character. This character wasn't already good enough at catching landings. Uh, has an incredible anti-air in that up smash. Playing around with this can as another dash tech in the corner. Ray setting up a beautiful ledge trap. Drifting, crawling back ever so slightly. B reverse. Wow, oh, that was so clean. Turn off can with the B reverse gravitational pull. Linger there for a little bit at that perfect edge guarding angle and find the lingering back air in tow. Zane is able to take stock for stock, but when you're already down one, that's not really a trade you can afford to take. Yeah, and the thing here is that, like, what Ray is so good at is the ledge trapping and edge guarding game, and part of that's because Rosa is so good at those two things. Um, but Ray is just so good at tracking. Like, he knows exactly where you're going to be off stage and follows so well to put himself in positions where he can take the stop. Sitting comfortably with a two, uh, with a two stocks to one lead, and Zane starting to get into those extreme percentages. Yeah, just absorbing the clay pigeon and the can at the same time. Like all of that, all of that potential advantage okay. is gone. But the back air is there to clean up potential stock. Gunman can nothing. Yeah, that down air was extended by Gunman. Uh, allowed Rosa to really get that hitbox out for an incredibly long amount of time. The back is still not going to be enough just yet. Poor Zane going to need to take the stock real quick, but it's not going to happen. That Rose up, as I mentioned before, not only so good in front and above her, but also behind. Um, you're going to see here how far behind that hits like from Rose's body. It is really, really, really far. Yeah, she arcs that back all the way up and all the way through as yeah. we're going to see this whole space just get shut down. Yeah, you can see it's pretty decently behind uh, Rosa yeah. the um, extra distance spacing. In, the extra distance in front as well from Luma. So there was nowhere to go as soon as Zane missed that tech. Yeah, kind of checkmate situation there. Um, and it really uh, just shows that Rosa's, you know, kind of a crazy character that doesn't see a whole lot of rep because she's hard. Um, she's, you know, and she, she's hard with some things and like, other things, she's just like, that's a good character. Like, you see, like, like down air, you see up smash, you see her jab, and like, that is just good character moves. Um, yeah. Like, Gluma up air being yeah. so prevalent, the ability to be flexible, but you do have to take account for a lot of you know, a lot of different tools and a lot of different ideas, as Luma bouncing back did confirm into up air. Wow. But, and actually, you, you saw a gravitational pull. Uh, one of the rare uh, utilizations of it is that the hitbox of, of, of the thing it absorbs is still active. Uh, okay. when, when she's absorbing it. So uh, actually allowed uh, Ray to get back onto the floor there. We're trying to get a neutral, but instead a good way to get Luma out of that, uh, out of the stage entirely. Just forward throw into F-Tilt. As Zane dominating the ground and Ray's trying to float away over to the platform, but not ready for that double jump up there. As Zane closes out stock one in secure fashion. Still a potential for this stock to drop, but Ray didn't want to risk their own. Immediately recovering back after the back air whiffed. Okay, that that down, uh, or rather that back girl, having a whole lot of intangible on it. However, Ray getting through the projectile wall and get that up smash out, um, evening up these stocks and now getting a little bit of percent back right away with that jab. Oh, trying to drift through, gets the dash attack grab. Uh, Luma goes for dash attack. Yeah. Uh, Ray gets dash grab. True confirm into it and getting a much more damage off of it as they're resetting onto the other ledge this time. Ray choosing their position in turn. And it's just been oh. such a devastating, like, three-fold trap. And Ray's reactions have been on point through and through, missing the spike hitbox. But either way, you're in a juggle situation. As long as Zane is above you, you're feeling pretty good with up smash and up air in tow. But Zane's able to find their way to the ground by dropping through the platform. Yeah, and you really can't like like drift in on Ray. He's going to hit you for those uh, landings. And we saw right there, uh, no opportunity for Zane to get off ledge um, when Ray was doing that. Ooh, close for the up smash rather than up smash. But that up smash right there is going to be able to take the stock. And again, such a good anti-air. So difficult to get down to the ground against this character. That is going to be big damage though for Zane. Uh, has to get this stock off quickly though. Trying to 
poke away at each other. Luma uh, coming up against the duck, though the gunman blasts through. And once again, able to take the weak dash attack and deliver a shotgun to the face. Uh, the ledge trap is set up. Great patience on Ray's wow. part. Low profile. Holy moly. Uh, I wanted one more. I wanted the attempt at the shield break, but Zane, knowing just a little bit better, knowing Ray wouldn't pull up shield when it was so low, though they do have to face the ledge trap yet again. The jump gets called out. The early recovery, great mix up in order for the air dodge straight down. But Ray knows that they can just prep for what Ray, Zane does when getting off ledge. They don't have to worry. They don't have to care. They can just see how they do and react in tow. Rosa, Mina, and Wuma. Yeah, uh, man, we haven't seen Ray do this well in a little bit. It seems like he's kind of found his groove again with this character. That's crazy that that little profile. If you guys just go back just for one second. Um, like, this was, was in kind of insane. Yeah, you can see right there. The, the spot dodge is not what, 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 what got out of the way that grab. Yeah, that grab was active it. already. You're going to see it here. Look at him flat. Ray goes for grab out of shield. And then you can see Duck Hunt's little, he's chilling on the floor. Look at him. Flat. Look how happy he is. <laughs> Look how happy Duck Hunt is. And uh, doesn't even need to spot dodge. Zane obviously thinking, I'm going to get grabbed here. I should spot dodge. And... Spot dodge is a little bit unnecessarily, unfortunately. That plot, yeah. that uh, it's like they did the right option anyway, but the frames were so off that it turned into just this wild scramble yeah. of spot dodge, down smash, hold shield with another grab. Like every, yeah. everything just it was spaghetti. It's spaghetti all over the place. A lot of a lot of it. <laughs> and and that low profile too. <laughs> I thought the spot dodge get out of the way of that. It was the low profile as well. That's yeah. so funny. Um, yeah, and then again, Ray out. ended up just taking the stock. Um, catching that landing on the platform again. Up throw with Rose is so good because, like, you're afraid of up air. Yeah. So you're like, have I to. have to air dodge down or I'm going to get juggled for years. And then you air dodge down and you get up and you explode. This character, if you don't retreat to ledge versus her, you just die. Yeah, you need an, either some other oriented platform or just a lot of general space in order to take advantage of her uh, sl somewhat sluggish run speed. Yeah. But that's where things like the Luma attack canceling tech it yeah, becomes like, so devastating. And Luma shot being crazy. Yeah, like surprisingly and like, quick. Plus as uh, heck. 